random, but I've been really getting into learning about Feng Shui lately, and the way that you actually lay out your home affects your energy. You Welcome to a new vlog. I feel so tired this morning. I don't know why because we did have a pretty big sleep in but I'm not sure if I've woken up like a little bit sick or not or if I'm just still tired. We will see. But I wanted to pick up the camera today and do a little Sunday vlog. We've got quite a few like home projects that we need to get done and just our usual Sunday routine. So we need to do the grocery shop. We need to do a bit of cleaning and I also need to really work on the office because at the moment the office is like a multifunctional place. So it's Braden's office, it's my office, also my warehouse I guess where I store my inventory. It's also Braden's wardrobe and yeah it's got multiple purposes so it's kind of a mess and I really want to go through and just like declutter, organize and make it a nicer place because I haven't really been working in there because it's so cluttered and I've just been working at the dining table which is fine but I actually recently got a new office chair and that's making me really want to work in there now I'll show you guys in a little bit so I'm trying out a new coffee today I don't know if I've actually told you guys this in the vlogs yet but I've got really back into using my Nespresso machine and I have an Nespresso Virtuo Virtuo I think machine and it has different pods to the normal Nespresso so I can only actually buy Nespresso branded pods because they're like bigger than the normal pods if that makes sense So for a while I couldn't find a pod that I actually liked they were all too strong So I kind of gave up on it But then the other day I thought you know what I really want to get it out of the storage cage and give it a go again And try and find a pod that I like and I did find one that I really loved But then we went to the shops yesterday and picked up some more So this one is the caramel cookie flavor i'm not gonna lie it's not like what i expected it actually was like a black coffee and there wasn't really a lot of room to put milk in but i'm gonna give it a try it doesn't really taste like cookie to me to be honest i saw a lot of good reviews on this so i had high hopes i thought it'd be like a really nice sweet coffee but maybe maybe it's not meant to be like that anyway i'm gonna drink this hopefully get some energy and then we'll crack on with our day <laughs> spent a little bit of time writing a grocery list and just planning out our dinners for the week because Brayden's going to go and do the grocery shop because I thought it was kind of counterproductive if we both go because there's some things that I want to do around here but I also spent some time on my phone doing some posts for my sister's birthday because it's her 18th today which is so crazy I can't believe she's 18 we actually went around to my family's house on Friday to celebrate but I'm not sure if we're doing something today so I may end up going around there depending on what her plan is. I think that Lily might have had a big night last night, so she's just chilling this morning, but we'll see. So yeah, Brayden's gonna go do the grocery shopping now, and I just wanna get started with some washing and just tidying up before I get into the office. <laughs> all of the cleaning now and Brayden did the grocery shop so yeah the apartment's looking really nice we've also been obsessing over our new robot vacuum it's so cool it like goes around the whole apartment and does such a good job of cleaning so that was super helpful but I'm gonna start tackling the office now I'll show you guys a before of what it looks like Brayden's actually in there at the moment just playing games but he's going out for a surf soon so that'll be good because I'll have all that space to myself that's why I never really like organize it during the week because Brayden's always in there working but he actually might be going back into the office like 
one to two times a week. So I'll have that space to myself. So before I take you guys into the office and show you the current situation, I wanted to do a little home decor update because I recently got a few new things from Brossa. And if you haven't heard of Brossa, they're an Australian homewares and furniture store. They're actually originally from Melbourne, but they've got a showroom in Sydney and Melbourne and you can go in and talk to their interior designers and get a good idea of what you want. Or you can actually like go online and book a consult with one of their interior designers and get some advice that way if you'd like. But they have so many beautiful homewares to choose from and a bunch of different styles. They've got like modern contemporary, coastal and mid-century and I just find that a lot of their stuff actually suits the vibe of my apartment. You may have actually already noticed a few pieces in my apartment from Brossa before but you may have not realized they were from Brossa so I'll share them with you in a moment but first of all I want to share with you my new office chair because this literally only just arrived and I'm so obsessed with it. Okay so here is my chair it's the Espen office chair in French beige. I love it. I love the color. It's so modern. I used to have a plain black office chair, which was fine, but just definitely not as beautiful. And I wanted something that matched my decor a lot nicer. Another decor item that we got from Brossa is this swivel chair. We've had it for a while now, so you may have seen it before, but this is what it looks like. I love the color of it. It's called the Ada Swivel Chair in seashell white. As you can see, it's got like really nice texture to it. And then finally we have the Harvey bench, which I got to put underneath my dressing table because I just wanted something small that I could tuck underneath that wouldn't take up too much room. This is what it looks like up close. I really like the color of it and it matches the other furniture in the room really well because we do have a timber bed. So they're the pieces that I recently picked up from Brossa. I'm so excited to be working with them because you guys know I'm such an interior lover so I'm looking forward to organizing my office now and just styling it and putting the new office chair in there I think it's gonna look so nice so if you want to check out Brossa I'll leave a link in my description box and I guess I'll show you a before of the office it's very very cluttered so I know you guys have seen the office before but I'll go through it with you quickly also can you hear the rain it's all of a sudden started pouring. So Brayden's probably getting soaked in the surf. But this is Brayden's side of the room. And then all of my elements of presence inventory and boxes is back here. And then I have my desk here, but I really don't use it as a desk just because I've got so much stuff on top of it, like my Cricut machine, which I do want to keep in here. I just want to find a better home for it so I can use it much more easily because at the moment, like it's an inconvenience to use it. I have to like bring it out into the lounge room and use it. and. I don't really like that. So on this side of the desk, I have these drawers, which I keep my makeup in, which is probably a bit silly really because I don't do my makeup in here, but I don't know where else to store it. So that's that side. And then on the other side, I've got a bunch of random stuff like nail polish. I keep candles in one drawer journals in another drawer and I actually need to go through these drawers because I think it would be good if I could make them more work orientated because it is the office space at the end of the day. And then on this wall we have Brayden's wardrobe which he doesn't complain about at all but if I were him I would personally want it to be a bit more organized around my wardrobe just because you know you want to like have a nice area to get ready in so I'm going to try and make this space as nice as I can. Okay, so update. I've come up with a pretty genius idea, if I do say so myself. So I actually moved the tabletop on top of my desk on top of the drawers. So as you can see behind me, I've moved over there just so I've got like a standing desk now, which is going to be so convenient for elements of presence so I can pack orders and not have to bend over. And then I have a space for my Cricut machine and then I can also have a separate desk so I can have like my Ella Victoria desk and my Elements of Presence desk which I think is going to be so helpful for me. But then I ran into the issue of course that if I put my tabletop on top of these drawers then that would mean that I don't have a desk anymore. But then when Brayden got home he was like Ella don't we still have like your old tabletop from when we first moved in and we realized that it was still down in the storage cage so we've just gone and grabbed that. And lucky we still have it because I think I'm gonna switch them around again and use this one on top of the drawers and then move the natural tabletop back to the desk spot. <laughs> Hi 
everyone, it's a new day. I didn't end up picking up the camera yesterday afternoon after I finished organizing the office just because my camera died, but I was very focused and pretty much finished it. There's a few things I need to do, but like overall it looks so, so much better. I wish I did it sooner. And I've spent all morning in there working away on my laptop, on my nice clear desk and it's great. The office chair is also super comfy. Brave has just hopped on a call now. So I was gonna take you in there and show you what it looks like, but I'll do that in a minute when he gets off of his call. Cause obviously it's Monday now and he's working. But after I show you guys the office update, I thought that I'd actually go through the drawers in my desk and do a bit of a declutter. So I told you guys yesterday that on one side of my desk, I have my makeup. And then on the other side, I store all of like random bits really. I'll have to show you, but I thought I'd do a big declutter of that today because it's been a long time since I've gone through my makeup. And since I'm sorting out the office, I thought now would be a good time to do that. And then later on, I actually want to go to the shops and pick up some organization bits so I want to pick up some file dividers for a filing cabinet and then I also want to pick up this storage bin for my packing peanuts it's this very specific bin so I'll show you once I've got it but purchasing those two things have been on my to-do list for a while I've really needed to organize the filing cabinet because yeah at the moment we've just got it sitting there but there's no system to it so I want to get that done so that is my plan for today while Brayden's on the phone I thought I'd show you guys the bedroom because I've actually added the plant in here this was in the office originally but I've moved it out here now and look I'm not gonna lie it is a bit cluttered in here but I don't know I kind of like the pop of green this plant also I swear it's dead it was meant to grow like really tall it's a happy plant but it's never really grown so any plant experts can you tell me what to do like can I revive the plant why is it not growing I'm very confused it's very cute but like I was thinking I was gonna get a really nice tall plant and it's just, it's just not happened. So this is a view that you would see if you were lying in our bed. And honestly, I'm not sure if I really like the TV in the room anymore. We really don't use it very often because we don't really watch TV in bed. We usually use the TV out in the lounge room. So I'm really tempted to move this TV out of the bedroom and then also move these bedside tables somewhere. Obviously they would have been perfect next to the bed, but the only reason we don't have them next to the bed is because we don't have enough room. So we popped them together and made a little TV unit. But personally, I'm not a big fan of the way it looks, but I guess it is a good use of storage. Maybe I'm just being really silly but like you guys know I love home decor so I'm just trying to make everything perfect. Also this is really random but I've been really getting into learning about feng shui lately and I first kind of like heard about this from a podcast I listened to called Law of Attraction Changed My Life and the podcast host Fran has done like a few episodes on it and it's really interesting. Basically the idea of feng shui is that your home holds a bunch of energy and the way that you actually lay out your home affects your energy. You can do a bunch of research into it. It's really interesting but there are like certain rules I guess you can follow and I know one of the rules is to not have a TV in your room. I guess it makes sense really because I think you kind of want to limit the amount of technology that you have in your room like your room is meant to be the place where you relax and you escape from all that kind of stuff so I am kind of tempted to move the TV out of here just so we have like a nice technology free space. Another feng shui rule that I remember Fran mentioned in her podcast is that you're not meant to have self-development books in your bedroom like on display which I thought was so surprising and I definitely do have books in my bedroom I'm sure so many of us do so I thought that was like a really interesting little rule but yeah I'm really interested in feng shui and I've been kind of paying attention to it when buying decor for my home and stuff I know that they say to use a lot of neutrals in the bedroom because neutral colors are quite calming and relaxing Anyway, I just thought I'd share a few insights I have with you guys because I personally found it really interesting. Okay, so Brayden's working away currently. I'll try not to show your screen, but this is what the room is looking like. It's so much better. So I currently have a bunch of lipstick on the desk, so please ignore that. And then I'm so happy with this area. It looks really, really good. So we've got like all my inventory. And then on top, I've popped my Cricut machine here. Then I've got some drawers here for elements of present stuff. Then over here we have all of my packing boxes, which were actually stored in boxes individually themselves before. So, 
Oh, Brayden's got a call coming through. One sec. I've just got home from the shops and I picked up the bin that I was talking about. I did actually want to get a deeper one than this, but they didn't have it in stock. So I really like this one just because you can lift up this part and then you can grab whatever you want out. So I'm planning on putting my packing peanuts in here so I can easily grab them out and then I can put the rest of them down in the storage cage. And then I also picked up this lint roller, which I'm gonna use for my Cricut machine because it helps like get little bits of vinyl off. And then I've just got some file dividers for my filing cabinet. Okay, so the reason why I have all the lipsticks currently on the desk is because I took them out of this bottom drawer so I could free it up as like a little charging station because all of these wires were just sitting on the floor here and it was all tangled so I thought this would be a good little hack so I've just got the extension cord coming around there into the drawer and that way I can hide all of my cables. This is where I charge my cameras and stuff. So yeah, that's a really, really handy little hack that I came up with. But since the rest of my makeup products are on this side of the desk, I wanna move them over and put them on this side and I'll add lipsticks into the bottom of this drawer and then I'll move all of this stuff over to the other side of the drawer. As you can see, it's so cluttered. This is like my deodorant and nail polish drawer, which is ridiculous. Another crazy drawer is this one. I've got so many planners in here, I can't even open the drawer. Then I have a bunch of random candles in here, which definitely need to be decluttered. So my job now is to declutter these drawers and switch them around. the time lapse to show you guys something I just found. So this is like the first draft that I came up with for the daily reset plan. I literally sat down and put a bunch of my thoughts onto a piece of paper. As you can see, like I just drew my thoughts and I was like, I would love to have a planner that has all of these little prompts on it. So I sent this off to a graphic designer and we started the process, but I didn't actually know I still had that. So it's quite cool to see the first initial idea. Okay, so it's quite a bit later now and I've finished decluttering and organizing. I didn't end up doing a big declutter of my makeup just because I figured that's like a bigger job than I anticipated. So I'm gonna do that another day, but I did go through the other drawers and I got rid of a bunch of journals, candles, and there was some like random hair products in there as well. So I've organized all of that. I've now got like one side with so many free drawers, which is great. So the office is a much more functional space now, and I don't know if visually you can see much of a difference, but there is a pretty big difference when it comes to the clutter. So I'm really, really happy that I finally dedicated some time to sort that out. I will show you a quick little after just in case. So as you can see, it's so much clearer around here now. So now Brayden can get in this wardrobe and these drawers, are like pretty empty. Like I've only got glasses in there. I do have some journals in here. The shelving's nice and organized. I love this area. I'm so excited to get into using my Cricut on here. All the boxes are organized. Then we've just got like the printer, our filing cabinet, and that is it. I know it might not look that different, but honestly, I'm so happy and it's way more organized to me. I think I'm going to wrap up this video here, but I hope it was interesting for you guys to watch. I always love bringing you along whenever I'm doing a little organization project. And I did have a few home updates to share with you guys. Also, isn't it crazy that we've almost been in this apartment for a year? Like, I think in a month, it will have been a year. We've actually already had an email from our real estate agent asking if we want to extend the lease. So we're just like trying to figure out what we want to do, but we are very, very happy where we are and the year has gone by so fast. But that's going to be it for this vlog. Please do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.